Hi guys, it's Louise, so welcome back to my channel, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, today we're gonna do a back to basics video where I'm gonna explain to you the different types of foundation that I use. And I'm also gonna show you my foundation bag that I take to work when I do my job as a professional makeup artist. And lastly, I'm also gonna show you how I apply my foundation. So, if you wanna see that, then keep on watching. So this is my foundation bag that I use at work, Dermacolor Camouflage Mini Palette, so in medium. It's good for covering tattoos or sometimes I use this as a concealer as well or just a very full coverage foundation. And then I have this liquid foundation, it's from La Mer. So this is one of the liquid foundation I use. I love this Dior foundation. It's the Need Air. It's like a serum, so it's really good for matured skin. It has a bit of coverage, but it's very light to medium. And then I love this foundations from Dior. It's uh, the liquid foundation as well. It's for our full coverage foundation. So I have these. Also have these ones. This is a Dior Backstage foundation. They compare this a lot with face and body foundation from Mac. But I love this a bit more because it's not as luminous or dewy because this is a bit it sets a bit more to the skin and it's not matte but it's not as dewy because what I find with the face and body it could look a bit sticky then I have my Estee Lauder foundations as well I love the Estee Lauder foundation because it's perfect for weddings, for humid weather. So whenever I do weddings in Dubai, I use this because it doesn't budge, but some people like it really light. So you could use this as it is, or you could lighten this up by using a serum with it. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I just like trying out different foundations. When I've tried and tested a foundation, I have the full range of it. So if I need this darker, I just mix mix it with a darker foundation. In a perfect world, a makeup artist would have everything in their kit. We would love to, but sometimes, you know, budget restrictions, restrictions, and you don't want to carry like 12 bottles of foundation, 24 bottles of foundation. I actually feel like I have a lot in my kit already. Of the Chanel Vitalumie Aqua, I also love this. It's just light to medium coverage. And then I have the Dior Star foundation. I, just, I also have these in my kit. It's the Hourglass um, Stick Foundation. I have depotted my Kevin Aquan I forgot the name of this foundation, but it's really thick, almost like a concealer, but you could also use this as a foundation. I love diluting this with a mixing liquid, just because sometimes it could get quite full on. So I still use this if I feel like um, I want very, very full coverage perfection. And then I've depotted my MAC Full Coverage Foundation as well. I love this because, yeah, you could apply this lightly and you could use it as a full, full cover foundation as well. From the Nessa Myrits. Love this foundation because it's so full coverage. And it's so it looks so good on photos. Sometimes I feel like in real life it could be quite shocking. It's not definitely not an everyday makeup, but if you're doing a photo shoot or 
for special occasions where you'll be photographed, then this is perfect. So there you go. That's my collection of foundation. So that's uh, my foundation bag that I use for work. I use two types of foundation, either liquid or cream. So it varies like each product or each brand has different types of coverage. Like Dior could have um, very light coverage to medium and they could have full coverage foundation. It will take hours to discuss about foundation. But if you want to learn more, then meet me up for coffee here in Manchester and we could talk about it for hours. I have another type of foundation that I use very rarely that is a powder foundation when I groom a guy. So yeah, that's it. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my foundation. So before I do my foundation, I prep my skin first. Um, what I do is I start with a clean skin, so I wash my face and then I tone my face and then I put my serum and then I put moisturizer. So I've done all of that already just to freshen up my face and to wake me up. That is the MAC Fix Plus in lavender. Use this Kiko Milano Skin Trainer CC Blur. I have a bit of like visible pores so I just like applying a bit around my cheeks and my nose where the pores are showing and apparently this is it's tinted as you can see it's a bit tinted so sometimes when I don't want to wear foundation I just wear it as it is and it has that mattifying effect as well as you can see, like my face is already matte. My trusted Estee Lauder foundation, and this is in shade Spiced Sand. This foundation doesn't come with a pump. You have to buy it separately. So I usually use the back of my hand. And then I use a brush, but today I'm gonna use a beauty blend. So the difference between applying with a brush and a beauty blender is with a brush, the product slides a bit more. Well, I usually apply foundation with a brush because but if I'm using a brush with it I don't have to use this much product but at the same time what I like about applying foundation with a beauty blender is that it's you set the product in your face it feels like an airbrushed effect but, well, depends on the foundation that you use, but it just, I feel like it blends out a bit better. And some people love doing the eyes first, and then after, the, after they finish the eyes, that's when they're gonna do the skin. But I don't know for whatever reason, I just like doing skin first. Because I feel like once you've done the skin perfectly, then you could do anything with the eyes. I'm gonna mix the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer.
So now I've applied my concealer slash highlighter. Not really highlighter, but I just opened up my face. And now I'm gonna proceed to the contour. Contour, contour. I use this Max Factor X Miracle, Miracle Sculpting Wand in medium deep. I think I really like this. I feel like it's a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury one, even though I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury one. I just feel like it's such a good product, but it's not that cheap as well. What I love about this Estee Lauder foundation is once it's set on your skin, it doesn't move, it doesn't budge. And you actually don't need setting powder for it because it's already matte. So this is how I apply my base. I haven't, I'm just gonna set my under eye. So this is how I do my base and now I'm gonna proceed with my full makeup and then I'm gonna be back. Oh my god, that's weird. I have freckles. Does it look like dirt? So thank you for watching guys. If you want to see more videos like that where I'm explaining the different products and yeah, different types of makeup that I have in my kit, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it. See you next time. Bye.